So, Lord Rather, what have you got going on? Oh, God. Uh, I've got about, like, uh, three or four different projects going on at the moment. Uh, I am currently uh, finishing up the last few chapters of the novel, taking a few up. Uh, a few passes in the earlier chapters anyway. Uh, smooth progress there. Uh, I'm fixing to pin up another review this time for... Uh, this is going to be Rob Rimes' Fenric 1984, a uh, book I really enjoyed. I've I have not uh, had the, the, uh, the pleasure of reading anything from Rob Rimes yet. Yeah, I, I, I really like his writing style. It's... Uh, it's pretty tight, pretty efficient. Uh, there's not much wasted space. I, I really like the sense of energy in his writing. Uh, yeah. It was actually one of the... It was Dan, De Dan the Destructor. Besides the long moonlight, that was pretty much my introduction into Iron Age literature. And I would say that's a pretty good place to start. Uh, it was also through him that I kind of got introduced to this whole Gilded chat, really. Cool. You know, I was actually thinking I might pick up one of Rob Rimes' books uh, because of his Wednesday shill thread being so successful for me. Um, just, but he stopped doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I I think life has kind of uh, kind of disrupted a lot of a lot of stuff uh, for Rob Rimes anyway. So uh, I I don't hold it against the man himself. It sounds like he's just incredibly busy at the moment. Uh, I do recommend starting from the beginning, though. There, There is sort of a wrinkled timeline that kind of uh, forms and evolves as it goes along. So I recommend the first book, uh, Dan the Destructor. Uh, how is The Long Moonlight? Because that is, I, I do plan to get a book from Razor Fist and uh, the Critical Drinkers book as my next two Iron Age uh, pickups. I enjoy The Long Moonlight. I don't think it's perfect. I think some of the prose is rough in places. Uh, there is a bit of a romance in it that is a bit on the weaker side, but I do think it strikes pretty true to the whole crime drama that's sort of like urban fantasy. Uh, I think it executes that really well. His character is a bit closer to Garrett. I know that's a comparison a lot of people make. Uh, there are some differences, but it is pretty easy to make that connection. So I I would say it's there's a lot more positives than negatives, but I mean, your mileage may vary there. Fair enough. Thanks for the honesty. Not to interrupt right. it. Hey, Brian, I'll be following you tomorrow on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm going to go tempt fate and my finger count as I celebrate my country's birth by small, blowing up a small portion of it. Yeah, may all your fingers stay yeah. attached. May the firecrackers be fun, but not damaging. Oh, oh, well. oh screw yeah, that. Get fun. yourself a Roman candle. Have your buddy put on some <laughs> thick sweatshirts. Light that thing and start launching it. Just come on. Go have yourself a blast. <laughs> Listen, Caution I'm ready for the, for the compilation way. of uh, 2023 advice. blowing off your hands with fireworks. <laughs> Woo! Wait. Well, just, you know Bud Light won't be involved. Yeah. Just, just don't make it look like France. Oh, geez, that's bad. I, I saw somebody hey. shooting off fireworks at a police officer. I just like, oh, goodness. They, they don't when they talk to talk, they also walk to walk. Gotta say it about France, not supporting yeah, or they, they were tossing it, cars off of buildings, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, re remember about ten years ago when we all used to call the French a bunch of wusses? Look at mm -hmm. them now. They're all grown up. <laughs> no, seriously, that used to be the constant always everyone wrong. was like, Oh, the French, how would you like to buy a French rifle? Never fired, dropped only once. That used to be <laughs> that used to be their stigma. It they had one of the changing. largest empires in history at one point. Yeah, it's like, and and I e during that time, point. I'm trying to find out what where did the French get this reputation for being pushovers because that was never the case. They used to be feared. 1940. I figure it's when yeah. when it's all the people then. in France that had backbone moved to Canada and they left all the wusses behind. Is what I figured. which is even wrong in its own sense because just because the government surrendered to the Germans, yeah. There, th Not there was all this resistance that went on for several years. 
Yeah, the resistance was amazing, but yeah, the the leadership is really bad. What's his name, Macron or something like that? Yeah, I I saw somebody call him Macaroni. (laughs) (laughs) I I don't know enough about France's political structure to make any kind of intelligent comment, just smart-ass comments. So, What was that, James? Macron blamed video games for the riot. So, yeah, I called him Macaroni. He's an idiot. (laughs) Oh, that was you? (laughs) You blamed video games for the riot? Yeah, and I saw somebody else uh, say, uh, let's get an update, or let's talk about the new uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto map, and it was a map of France. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I think that too. Every time I see a riot going on, Molotov cocktails being flung around, cars flipped over, I go, "Dang it!" Remember, this France is the doing suffers, of Mario and so Luigi. America can exist. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking here, I'll use James. The macaroni. You think someone put like the the riot cheat in GTA San Andreas in France right now? <laughs> yes. Hey man, those after uh, football soccer riots get insane. I mean, the... <laughs> all of Europe, man. That, that's usually the main reason why I watch uh, European soccer is is because of the riots. Yeah, I, I hear the uh, crowd turns into a real hockey game. Well, I was I was talking with Devil Zare because uh, he needed help with uh, one of his assignments for university. And, um, and he's like, you guys all have all these guns and stuff to your reports. And I'm like, yeah, but you never hear about the sports riots. He's like, why is that? And I'm like, let me tell you about tailgate parties. They get you drunk before the game, so you're too sloshed to do anything after. <laughs> Didn't they try to get rid of the tailgate shit this year? They tried and failed. 